Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Fiji to Studio and today a quick video to share with you that free icon mask effect that we've added to our free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download that effect by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the free starter pack, and the font. If you already have the free starter pack installed, you can just double click on the TRFX file and then it will just prompt open that window and then you can just override. So if you already have the free starter pack installed, you don't need to install the font. But if that's the first time that you install the free starter pack, please make sure to install the font. Otherwise, everything included in the free starter pack will not work. So just select all the font available in the folder and then you can just double click on it to start the installation of all those font or you can just copy and paste them into your font folder. It's very important that you do that. Otherwise, you will get a black screen and the title will not not work so please make sure to do that once the font are installed and the tearfic is installed as well you can go over to davinci resolve right now we are on the edit page you can then go over to effect then scroll down here to effect you can open that drop down and here under video to studio you will find the free starter pack 2.0 and here that's going to be the first effect we've ever created for the free starter pack 2.0 as you can see right now because that's an effect we cannot drop it directly in the timeline we need to already have a clip to apply that effect on so right now i'm just going to go and drag a random clip here in my timeline now that we have a video clip on our timeline, we're gonna be able to apply the effect onto it. So here I can then just drag my icon mask and drop it onto my clip. As you can see, nothing is happening. It's because we're gonna need to feed it an image for the mask to be applied. As it's stated in the name of the title, it's an icon mask. So here you need to feed a PNG icon for it to work. A great way to find free PNG icon on the internet is SVG repo. Please just make sure that it's a PNG that you download and not a SVG. A SVG is a different type of file. You want to download a PNG, okay? So right now, for example, I've chosen this camera. I'm just gonna make sure to download it as a PNG right there. And now in DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna go here in Upload Your Icon and Browse, and I'm just gonna add my icon right there. Now, as you can see, the mask has been applied over the footage. Now you can make some adjustment to the overall size and position of that mask. Here, I'm just gonna extend my inspector so we can see everything. I'm gonna open the size and position panel. And here, as you can see, we can reduce the footage inside of the mask or make it bigger. And we can adjust the global size of the mask. We can also adjust the position of the footage inside the mask. And we can also adjust the overall position of the mask. At any moment, if you want to reset a parameter, you can just double click on it and it will reset it to default. Right now, as you can see, because we don't have anything else on screen, we have just a black background. But here, I could just add another piece of footage or an image, and you can see that we have transparency behind our mask. So here, I'm just gonna increase the zoom of that image to fill my screen. And now I'm gonna be able to show you a few more functionality that we have in that mask that can be very helpful in a situation like this one. So the first one here is the shadow. We can add a drop shadow to that mask. So here, if I were to increase the softness, as you can see, we have a drop shadow that start to appear and then we can adjust the position of that shadow right there. You can also change the color, but I will recommend you to leave it as black. You can also adjust the perspective of that mask. So here we can just play around with the X, Y, and Z to just change the perspective of the mask. Right now I'm just gonna reset everything to what it was. And then finally we have the background to help us make that mask pop from the background. So here by default, the opacity is at zero. The more you increase the opacity, the more your background here gonna be dark. So that can be a great way to make that icon stand out. Right now, as you can see, there is no animation on that icon. But if you wish to add, for example, an opacity animation, you can just drag the marker at the beginning of your clip and it will just add a simple opacity animation to the icon. You can also go over to here, your video transition and drag any video transition you would like to introduce that title. So here you can just drop that at the beginning of the clip. And as you can see, it will just add that transition. So that's just one way to animate that icon. And you can do the exact same thing here for the animation out if you wish. So here 
can just drag that and we'll have an opacity animation at the end. And one last quick note, here we've used a video clip, but if you wish, you can use an image instead and simply drag that onto the image. So here, if we try to do the exact same process on that image, we can again go over to Effect, Free Startup Pack 2.0, drag that icon mask here, we can then just upload our camera icon. Here we go. And now that will be apply on to the image. So that's one way you can go about it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment what kind of effect or title you want us to make in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetastudio.com.